Well, that's how easy we can open the decks up now to work on them. All right, so where do you start when you're working on the bow? There's quite a lot going on here, I want. So we've got the beam shelf going all the way down, going to here. Beam shelf is on this side here, going all the way forward. This is like the inner stem, which is rotten at the top. And then as you come further down, from what we saw from the inside, it's really good, but we, we saw a tiny bit of rot up here. Obviously we didn't quite know the extent of it. This here, I think it's called the breast, pump, breast plate or something like that, which goes right round. It used to have some fixings going right through there, but they seem to be missing for some reason. So the only thing that's holding this on is this one big bolt here, which goes all the way through, you can see the remnants there, and all the way through to the very outer stem, which the top of the outer stem is rotten as well. So that bolt comes out, and it comes out here. So that is sandwiching it all together. So it's sandwiching the very outer stem, then the planks, Luckily, it's not a very complicated way. They haven't got like a rabbit or anything. Just basically the planks, the inner stem, and then the planks go to the inner stem. I think the planks are nailed to there. And then the very outer stem is then sort of to cap the end of the planks. It's where do you start? And obviously if we start taking the, the top of the inner stem out, it's all gonna be attached to the planks, isn't it? But we've gotta do it at some point. Or do we take the easy route today and actually just start doing the frame repairs because that's what we're good at, isn't it? To do this one, there's a big stainless steel plate on the outside from where the anchor pushed against. So I think we need to get that off first. So all of these bolts here, hopefully all these come out. And then we take the big plate off the side, which is, hang on, I think it's got Gemma's little thingy in it. <laughs> Which is that point there. So we've got one problem nut, um, looks like it wasn't a stainless steel in the first place and it's almost completely gone. Nothing that the little grinder can't sort out. Quite good spanners these grinders, aren't they? So we've hit all the nut and bolt ones out, but there was a lot down there that are just flat blade screws, are they by the looks of it? Yes. So we've still got a lot to get out. So, if you could find me a bigger one. Okay. Size up, would be great. Get to take this home and get it buffed up, Jim. Can't wait. It's like a mirror, this plate. Excellent. I 
I feel like when you go to like the fair. Yeah, you look like one of them. Pictures that you put your head through. I'm a boat! <laughs> <laughs> this is where we all throw tomatoes at you. <laughs> Put your head through it. Guillotine. What's that? If you just try and hold it so it doesn't actually try and fall. Okay. Right. Did it take away half the boat? No, I swear. The good part from it is white. Oh no! <laughs> Paint your boat time! <laughs> right, so. A lump, isn't she? Yeah. So now then we can, we can get to the back of them the very forward frame nails and then we can renail it then can't we? The surprise I was sort of half, half expecting it because it was behind the stainless it would be um it upset the planks but they actually look in better condition than quite a few of them. Give me a punch to knock these out. A good punch? Yes. If we got a good one, though, the end doesn't fall off. That'd be great. <laughs> so, you know, we've been having a lot of issues with punches lately, but someone very kindly bought us some new ones from our Amazon wish list. Uh, these are from a gift from me. So, whoever me is, thank you so much. Got to be better than the middle of Lidl special. <laughs> so, let's have a look at these new punches. little boxes out so thank you so much to whoever it was who bought us the punches i think they're gonna come in really really useful and these are all in one piece so they can't split off right take them to simon punches excellent That's perfect. Huh? So Gemma's inside getting ready for paint. Hey Gem. Yeah, hi. <laughs> so Gemma's inside getting ready for paint, scraping away. So we knocked the nails out from the inside with the frames. So as you can see here, all these ones have been knocked out. But I was knocking, I got, they wouldn't come out for some reason. And they're behind this piece of wood here. And I think that piece of wood there was to basically protect like the hull from the flukes of the anchor. I've seen I've seen pictures of it with like a big sort of like a Danforth style anchor anyway. Um, so yeah, we need to try and get this little wooden plate off. So anyhow, done with little slotted screws. So we need to change part of the inner stem, which is up there. 
So the planks are fixed to the inner stem. Then there's a, a big piece on the front which then finishes off the end of the planks which is then fixed through these big brass or whatever they are, bronze T-bolts that go all the way through both and then sandwich it. So technically we could undo them bolts and this whole, this whole front will come off. So then we can actually replace this because it's obviously poorly poorly and it's getting poorly here. So yes, this has to come off at some point. But it's no massive big drama, I don't think. Everything's possible, and I quite like this boat because everything's it's made basic. There's nothing, there's no rabbited edges or anything like that into the um into the stem or anything like that. So yeah, it's good. It's made up of loads of different pieces. Wake up, ready to go to surrender. I'm too comfy. I like my bed. I've been having trouble sleeping lately on my old mattress and it's been giving me a lot of backache. So we decided to upgrade to an Emma mattress. And the past week sleeping on this mattress has been the best sleep I've ever had. And it's sorted the back pain out. So I'm waking up truly refreshed and ready for boat work. The problem is, it's just so comfortable, getting out of the bed is quite difficult. I chose the Emma Premium mattress for a few reasons really. It's got five different layers, specially designed foams and every inch and every need of your body is addressed. And it really helps with spinal alignment. And I don't know about you, but I get really hot when I'm sleeping. So this mattress helps keep you nice and cool because it's super breathable, which makes for a really, really good night's sleep. Emma Sleep offers an incredible 200 night risk free trial and it also comes with a 10 year guarantee. So don't miss out on the Emma Sleep sale with up to 55% off and an additional discount if you use my code Gemma Sleep June. Thanks, Emma, for giving me the gift of a good night's sleep. Right, so we've cut some strips up now to, to go down over the painted section. Gemma's now painting the back and the front of them, I think. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Then we can laminate them and get them fitted. Yeah. All dry. It's amazing what a bit of sunlight does to paint, isn't it? How are we doing now? We're laminate? Laminate. We'll laminate and then we're going to like stick them in and get covered in glue. Wind isn't nice today. Is that the right way, yeah? No. Yep. Where's the end of this stringer here? It's hooked against the hooked against there so it won't float out.
Okay. I just made an error. So we mark we mark all the all the the frame ones are like sort of one, two, three, four, whatever, five, six, seven, eight. And then I mark this one as A. So that's that one there. But there's actually some holes here. So you can see these holes. So there's like a, an anchor plate, it's a protector to protect the hole, an anchor plate, which is in the in them holes. So that's like right next to me A. So I've just whacked a nail through through A, what I thought was A, but it wasn't A, that was just a random hole. And then it was quite a struggle to get it in, took, took some knocking, and then Jerry went, oh dear, you've just made an error. So what have you done, Jeb? So <laughs> the nail come out randomly in the middle of the two frames that we were aiming for. And with his extra strong hammery skills, he managed just to go all the way through the stringer. Um, and obviously it's cracked because he's just forced the nail through it when it should have been here. So now that stringer that was all right is now not. <laughs> so that's going to be sisted. So now so Simon can find the right hole and not make that mistake again, I'll stick a little string through. Yeah, okay. Okay, so you know which one it is. Yeah. Uh, going easier as well. <coughs> Alright, pull out. Pulling out. But yeah, we're all human, we all make mistakes, don't we? And it's I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's one of those things, isn't it? Um, I've been there. I got to do a G for now. So I've just made a mistake now, it's full of them today. Simon um, was hammering the nail through this stringer and he's, he's bent it by accident. So he's trying to pull it out. So what we usually do is I usually get an old drill bit or a punch and knock it back out. And I've just put this drill bit in and it's just snapped. So now we've got a stuck nail in there and a bit of drill bit. Today isn't going as well as we thought. <laughs> Right, let me go and get the punch set. No, 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 because you knock that in. I, I might be able to get it with the claw armor. It's just, um... Do you need a wedge of wood? Oh, that's good, eh? Yeah. So, yeah, basically, you can see that the little kink in it there. You could, you could keep going, but it's better to extract. Oh, did it? I was about to say something daft then because you said you drill through it, but um, no, it's not going to happen. Right, you now need to. Well, that'll knock out when you push the nail through, won't it? Yeah, it'll probably come out you like about a million miles an hour. Okay, I won't get in front of it. Oh. <laughs> it flew out! <laughs> Top one. Yeah. Right. We won't bother roving the uh, mistake. <laughs> the idea at the top for the aft frame. Uh, which one was the mistake though? 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Have you got a label on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, okay, yeah, yeah. Fine. Right. Go on then, yeah. Oh, the, the very bottom aft. Ready? Right. Okay. Next one off aft. Yeah. Okay. Top aft. Yeah. So we've got these two frames in now. We're leaving these in, these these sister ones. They're not doing any harm to leave in. They're already the right shape of the hull. Right, so now we're going to look at these ones here. So it's we, really, as we sort of realised a while back, this has been scarfed at some point. But we're going to take this out and we're going to come down a bit further, maybe to about here. And then the same with these. Bearing gifts. <laughs> One of our lovely viewers called Pete has sent us some different type of multi tool blades and they go through wood with nails in them. Because you That's keep... what we've got. <laughs> wood with nails, excellent. Right, yeah, because you keep having to change from a wood bit yeah. to a metal bit and they go through wood with nails. Sorry, sorry. And they're long as well. Who was it off? Pete. Thank you, Pete. Cheers, Pete. So, yeah, let's give these a try because you always, you're always swapping and changing, yeah. aren't you? It's a bit of a pain. You know how I feel about packaging, mate. Let's <laughs> get oh well. Yeah, because these are a bit part worn now, aren't they? Yeah. Might make life a bit easier. So what I was cutting through there was the string at the back end of the stringer nail. And the scarf's going up behind it, so yeah, I went straight through it, that's good. Do you know what? That's really horrible working with the wind, isn't it? Yeah, it's howling. The wind all day, it's literally just been smacking you in the face. Yeah. How was your hair? Is that... <laughs> How's yours? No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> bit windswept? Yeah. Yeah, so there we go. We're smashing through them frames in that chain locker yeah, now. Yeah, it's good now. Um, and then we're moving on to the good stuff yeah. next time, aren't we? So the inner stem is actually called an apron, I believe. Ooh. And then we've got what the breast tuck at the front which we need to take off so yeah. we need to start extending the apron anyway i think that's going to be one of so ne that's next all. week's jobs yeah okay so that's going to be exciting isn't it yeah. actually the stem of the boat is yeah. going to be chopped it's, it's and big, we've got a big sticky up bit i think at the front so are we we yeah. just need to find a good piece of wood i think i think we might have something you know i'm like i'm a hoarder hoarder oh, simon yeah. will check the wood yeah. pile so yeah thank you all so much for watching um, yeah, we're going to go home and now and switch off and relax for a bit, aren't we? Yeah. So, until next week. Yeah. I don't know what else is going to say. Till next week. <laughs> Till next week. Have fun. Yes. Oh, and in case you aren't aware, we have actually got a second channel. 
called Ship Happens Adventures. Yes. So everything on that is everything not to do with Surinder. Yeah. Because <laughs> we've sort of done that, so we're not we don't bore you guys, or you can be selective if you want to watch it. I mean, but come yeah. over because we've yeah. got the first trials of putting the fishing boats in the water. Oh yeah, and we went fishing, didn't Our we? Our first fishing yeah, trip. Yeah, yeah. So there's going to be. Did we catch anything? You have to go and find out. Right. It was quite exciting actually, yeah. wasn't it? Our <laughs> first fishing trip. But it's not just going to be a fishing channel. No. We've called it Ship Happens Adventures. So mm. it's going to be all the adventures that we get up to. Yeah, on the water and sort of random things like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So go over, please subscribe because it really would help us out a little bit. There's yeah. no adverts on there yet, so you're all right. Okay. <laughs> so see you all next week. Thank you very much for watching. And thank you to all of our patrons who mm. really do help support this project yeah. because it is massive, as yeah. you all know. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, guys. Bye. Cheers, bye.